Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a funnel chart. So let us try to understand what is a funnel chart. A funnel chart is used to indicate the bottleneck in your data. It is mainly used to visualize the linear process that has sequential stages. This funnel chart indicates the interview clearing metrics. The different stages depict the different phases in an interview. Let us now see how we can create this visualization. Under connect to file, select Microsoft Excel. Select the interview analysis dataset and click OK. This gives you the preview of the data. In the new worksheet, drag and drop the stages dimension on the row shelf and the measure values to the column shelf. Sort the visualization in descending order by clicking on the sort button present on the toolbar. To get the values on the other side of the funnel, we will create a calculated field called as minus values with the following formula. Change the display of the visualization to entire view. Change the graph type to line from the marks card. Drag and drop the measures on the path marks card. Remove the number of records from the measures value shelf. With this, you have the outline of the funnel chart created. Now to create the connections between the lines, let us create another funnel chart. Drag and drop the measure value on the columns shell. Change the graph type of the second funnel to bar from the marks card. Reduce the size of the bars for the second funnel chart as shown. Navigate to the second measure value and click on the drop down to select dual axis. This creates the final funnel chart. Let us now go ahead and do some formatting. Add the values to the color marks card. To change the color scheme of the funnel chart, click on the drop down and select edit colors. Choose the gradient of your choice and select reversed. Click apply and okay. To format the funnel chart further, navigate to format option in the menu bar and select the borders option. Assign none values to the drop boxes present in the sheet tab and the column tab. Repeat similar steps for lines. Hide the header present in the visualization. Drag and drop the stages dimension to the labels of the measure value marks card. To hide the labels on the left side of the funnel, select the label name and go to Mark Label. Select Never Show. Repeat the following steps for all the labels. With that, our funnel chart is ready. We hope you have learned how to implement the funnel chart and you will be able to do it on your own at your workplace. Thank you for watching this video. This video was brought to you by Nice Software Solutions.